This is an instruction video for a new range ball striper that I made just to help you guys. 117, 2017 striper with the plunger feed here. And I thought I would start this video before I got this finished. This one's going to Canada. And I just added this, I guess you would call it a feature, where this is adjustable. So if you loosen these two screws you can move this up or down and that determines how high that goes up there see right now I haven't adjusted just about right See that stops right there. It's right in line with the cups. So they grab it and then the plunger starts to back away before the paint unit comes down. So if this doesn't go up high enough you can just move this up a little bit. Loosen this and then slide it up and then retighten this. Okay, here's another uh, adjustment I forgot to do before I got this finished. This has to be set with this cam. In case this cam slips, you can see this has a set screw right there that you loosen up. And the way I set it to start with is when the cups are fully open, like they are right there, I move this up and then have this cam. I mean it's hard to do because you can't get the wrench in there but like right now it's set where it needs to be but if I had to move it I would go to there just like that and then I would loosen that set screw move it a little bit forward or a little bit back until I got it right. It's not very hard to do really. You see how it goes up? It hesitates there a second while the cups come in and close it and then pulls away. And that is done with this cam right here. Okay, I just mixed up a little bit of paint so I can strike some balls and show you about <clears throat> cleaning up and stuff like that. Okay, so this here is the paint tray. You have to put the paint tray, get it started on there slide this wheel on at the same time and tighten it up with this little well and wrench i send you one of these with it and these don't have to necessarily be right in line I leave it off a little bit and then it doesn't transfer quite as much paint Let it run a minute, get some uh, paint on the roller, on the foam roller. Uh, the consist consistency of the paint is pretty important. If it's too thick, you won't get a good line. Move this camera over here so you can see me feeding it. You shouldn't let it run too long without putting the ball in it because it builds up too much paint on the foam roller. And you're still getting too much paint you can offset this roller just a little more and then it won't pick up quite so much
do a few more here and then uh, I'll show you about cleaning it up. Okay, I gotta turn sideways here. Uh, let me show you this. Now, if you wear your foam roller out and you need to uh, swap it out, you just put, you can use a screwdriver or whatever. Pull that off. That one's actually still quite good because I only strike just a few balls. And then you just put another one on. It's a friction fit. I'm not going to put this on right now because I, I'm cleaning the machine. I need my roll of paper towels. So the first thing I do is Run that till I can get it to set screw. Slide this paint tray and roller off the same time, just like you put it on. These are stainless steel rollers. I decided to start using their. It's fancy, but they'll last forever. Clean this up. I just have a bottle of, of thinner here. So I can clean that up. Then see, there's a little bit of paint left in there, so I'll take that and dump that out. Uh, soak all I can get out here with a paper towel. Then you just set that somewhere and let it dry and use it again. You can use them for a long time. And then the rest of this is pretty easy to clean. I don't take that roller off. I just put some thinner on the paper towel. Don't get your fingers caught up in it. One more clean one. And that's it. It's ready to go next time. Okay, here's another uh, little adjustment that you can do. See, this ball has to fall dead center there, keep it going straight so you don't get paint all over your track. So you can see this has two slots and the screws down there. You can move this side to side and that'll change where the ball falls right here. So right now I have it adjusted I think pretty good. Trying to get that ball to where 
I don't know how well you can see this, but I had this loose right now. See how I moved that over just a little? See that stripe doesn't touch the edge right there. So then you won't get paint on this track because the ball doesn't touch the bottom of this either. It rides on it rides on these two rails. I mean it's never probably going to fall perfect but just as long as the stripe doesn't touch the sides. Um, another thing that that could possibly happen, I mean it does once in a while, is the cups could get out of time. See there's a little set screw right there and you loosen that set screw and hold the hold the other side and you can move that gear I easily do it by putting the Allen wrench in it and then moving it like that but you have to hold the other side so they both don't turn so they both don't turn at the same time hopefully it'll never loosen up but just in case this is a video of instruction to help anything that could possibly go wrong.